Hey, what's up, guys? It's X2 Rabbit 2 x here, and I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And I know I haven't uh, put out one of these in like two weeks or so, but I have not abandoned it. I was just really busy with my own mod and then with my own other series. So, yeah. But I'm back. I'll still try to do some modding tutorials. And today I'm going to be showing you how to um, update your MCP to the 1 for 1.1. 1 .1. So. First of all, what you want to do is just go ahead and download the 1.1 mod loader with the AdFly. Don't forget the AdFly because he's a cool guy. Um, I already downloaded it. I have it right here. So yeah, the mod loader guy is actually Rigusami. He's he updates his mods like hours or whatever right after a the update came out. So that's that's really cool. Next, what you want to do is. Uh, I'm not sure if this is on the MCP website, but I know that uh, at Sarge DP, he's the guy that um, pretty much leads the MCP team, I think. Uh, there's a test version of the MCP out, so I mean, for now you can use a test version, and later you can just update it. So, go ahead and download it from here. I will probably have this down in the description, well, I already have this in the description anyways, because I have uh, his Twitter in the description. So, if you're, using, if you're on Twitter, or even if you're not... Make sure to visit him, make sure to follow him if you want the first MCP versions when they come out and whatnot. It's really useful because I don't think uh, all the versions that he releases on here are on the official website. So you get kind of like an early access to the MCP. So just go ahead and download that. I also have this right here. Now I created a new folder named it MCP 1.1 and extracted all the new MCP stuff in there. So next thing what we're going to want to do is when we have this, simply go ahead and open up our dot .minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and um, this is um, my SMP server jar. So let's go ahead and, going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to want to make a new um, minecraft.jar or like dot .minecraft. Go ahead and let that update. So it made a new dot Minecraft for us. Now the the uh, the instruction, the pretty much like the installing instructions for this are uh, pretty much like um, the ones for before. But I'm actually going to show you the short way of doing it. How I tried to explain it last time, but I didn't. I showed you the long way last time. But um, yeah, today I'm going to show you the really short way and really easy way to set up your MCP with Eclipse. So, alright, I, I don't really care about the settings. So, we made a world and our dot Minecraft. So, you're going to open up your dot Minecraft and you're also going to go in your MCP 1.1. You're going to go into jars and then where's our dot Minecraft? Nope, not here. Dot Minecraft. You're going to take your bin and your resources, simply copy and paste. Paste the folders in here, not the like Minecraft.jar, not the jars themselves. Paste the bin and resources folder in here. So next thing where you're going to want to do, simply just go back and, oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, before that, you want to go ahead and open up your Minecraft.jar in your, in that bins folder, in your bin folder. Go ahead and delete metainf. And what you're going to want to do is add in mod loader. So let me go drag that in. Okay. And now, so when we have that, so now our Minecraft has my loader in there and has um, deleted meta inf. Make sure to do those. So we can go ahead and hit decompile. Now, okay, so I'll be right back once uh, once this finishes. Cause I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I'll just cut it right here. All right, so uh, the thing took about three minutes to decompile, which is not that bad, I guess. But um, you're going to see errors found. You're going to see this because we put my loader in there. Do not worry about this. I, previously, I've gotten many messages like, oh, I've got errors found, hunk failed, whatever. Don't don't worry about this. This is not going to mess it up or anything. So um, now that we have everything decompiled, we can go ahead and open up our Eclipse. Do, 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 do. Come on, open Eclipse. And uh, I'm going to show you, I think it works. I'm not sure how to transfer your old code over. hope this is my um, 
code for my other mod but yeah all right so let's go ahead and you're gonna go to file switch workspace you're gonna go to other and then just simply navigate to uh, MCP 1.1 navigate to your MCP folder and then hit when you see Eclipse just hit Eclipse make sure Eclipse is right here in your folder click OK and OK again now your Eclipse is going to restart so we'll just let it restart you see it's, uh, it's pretty much building the new workspace and once that is up there you go um, there you go. Our, oh, why is it so laggy? What? Well, well, yeah, my mouse is lagging a bit. So you're simply all you're gonna do is you're gonna see a client on the server since we did not put a server.jar in there. We don't really care about that. But um, right here, oh, there's two errors. Where are the two errors? Okay, yeah, we don't have a server. That's it. That's only two errors. But basically, we have a client right here, and this is where you're gonna modify to do anything. I mean, this is this is where you're going to add your classes anything. It's a lot less complicated than what I had in my previous MCP tutorials, so I think this is a lot better and it's a lot, I don't know, it's it's a lot more simpler. So, I mean, yeah, from here you can just go ahead and click play and there you go. There's our oh, create new world. We can create a world inside of uh, Eclipse, and I mean we can you can mod in here and eh, eh. come on generate chunks. So yep, every here we go. We are playing in 1.1, and that is how you get the MCP set up. Now I'm going to show you guys how to transfer over. Let me exit out of this. I'm going to show you how to tr uh, how to transfer over. Um, old files or old mods so you're gonna find your old mod MCP like I have right here MCP 1.0 you're gonna go to source minecraft net minecraft source and you're gonna see a bunch of Java files now up here if you're on Windows 7 you can search for stuff so I'm gonna search for Blockium and it pretty much it gives me every single thing that has Blockium, whether inside or outside, like on the, it's either the class name or it's part of the code. So I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this isn't all of my files, but let's just go ahead and test this out. So you're going to have all these files, and then you're going to go open up source, Minecraft, net, Minecraft on your own, oops, source, on your own, uh, on your new file, on your new MCP. And you're simply gonna copy all these, copy, and you're simply paste them in here. And if you want to see them, you just go date modified. I think that's the last one. Yep, here it is. And the Earth Golem. Ooh, I didn't use that one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm, I think the all the rest should work. So now that we have that in there, let me go ahead and grab the um, the textures. So let's go back to MCP. We're going to go to bin, Minecraft, and we have all our textures here. So we, we're going to do the same in, in the new MCP. Uh, bin, Minecraft, and uh, this one. Yeah. So you're going to simply go ahead and take um, to here, I think. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and do that. Just paste all your textures in here. Again, we could have made a folder with just textures, and that probably would have been a lot easier. But I'm just, I'm just too lazy or whatever. I'll show you that how to make that later. But uh, now that we have the textures in here, this technically should work. And um, like I did with switching the workspaces, if you, for example, if you want to go work on uh, your MCP 1.0, you can just go ahead and switch back to that. Um, that workspace and it's going to work. I have a server one also and yeah I have one that I use. Alright so now you see we got a we got we got some errors over here alright so let's go let's go ahead and check out the errors like right here entity block your monster we got some errors okay so um function like for example this um this is the fire function and it doesn't have the same name anymore so you're gonna have to look for that 
So if we just go ahead and look for Entity Zombie. And on Living, it just says Set Fire 8. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that. Paste it in here. Because, yeah, they renamed some of the methods from MCP to MCP. So that's why you're going to have to fix some of them. Um, are there any other errors? Yeah, they are. Um, where are the errors? Uh, all right, all our blocky and stuff. Entity joined world. Um, where where did I find this? Is it? Uh, let's go. Let's look at item bow. And wow, oh, bow's got a lot a lot of new enchantments. I forgot about that. All right, so entity does arrow belong to world spawn entity in world. That's the new method. It's not join entity join world. It's spawn entity in world. So we're gonna go back to entity. Where is it? Where we? Where did we get those errors? Entity blocky and monster. Oh, oh, item. All right. So item blocky and amulet. Instead of entity join world, you're gonna go ahead and replace it with entity spawn entity in world. Catalyst. Um, what do we get? Why is this wrong? Block blocky and sapling. I don't think uh, did I. All right, whatever. We'll we'll go look at that in, in a second. I'm guessing here also entity explosive arrow. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't transfer an explosive arrow. But basically, I'm not. I'm gonna fix it off camera. I don't. Yeah. So I'll be back and I'll show you it when it's fixed. All right. So I am back and I fixed pretty much all the problems except all these blocky and dot blocky. So I didn't want to. Um, import my enum class. I'm just going to simply comment out my armor classes for now. I'm not going to use them. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. I guess it's a cheap way of getting around the problem, but uh, it works. And also what I did, oh, I forgot, completely forgot to show you this. Uh, Alright, yeah. Um, Completely forgot to show you this. I kind of remade my code because I had uh, about four mods that I was working on at once. Well, four like modding things, mod underscores. So I needed a way to deactivate my mods. So I made a little thing. It's it loads pretty much like it creates um, our blocking mod while if the flag is true. And now if we go ahead, I I use I mean I made a method called use mod and the flag. So right here it says use mod flag. So if the flag is false, it just returns nothing and does nothing. But if the flag is true or or else, it uh, pretty much loads the entire mod. So you know that's useful. You can that's an easy way to turn the mod on or off. But for now, just just ignore it because I know it's just gonna confuse you guys or something. And oops, I removed the monster spawners. All right, so the monster spawns now too. And we have no more errors, so we should be good right now. The armor is not gonna. Oh, what errors do we have? Blockium chest, entity blockium monster. Okay, what's entity block? Oh, okay, I know what he's talking about. Entity blockium monster. It can't drop a chest because we just commented it out. So let's go ahead and comment it out. And this return, uh, I don't know. Let's return item that diamond that shifted index. For now, yeah, updating mods is kind of it can be kind of picky because um, you just have to figure out so many new things. So if we go ahead and go into a survival world, hopefully this is gonna work. I think all the textures are still. I don't know why I went to survival world. Kind of wanted a creative one. But let's. Um, I forgot to set the set the flag to true. So while we're, oopsie, what am I doing? So let me set the flag. Where's oh, and bl mod blockium. Let me set the. Where is the flag? Oh, right here at the top. If we set the flag to true. Yeah, don't worry about this. I will probably make a tutorial on this sometime later. It's a pretty cool way to organize your mods. I mean, you can just pretty much turn them on or off. Alright, now we have some, uh, blockingleaf.png image not found. Okay. 
So again, I will be right back. I gotta fix this thing, so I'll be right back. All right, so I figured out that I actually put the uh, put the textures in the wrong spot. I placed them in the bin. Don't do that. Put them in the Eclipse client, and then we're gonna go to our other Eclipse client bin. And here are all our textures that we're gonna need up to here, I believe. So, so we're gonna go into bin on this one. So we paste all these in. And now it should work. Please work. Please, please yes. All right, so let's make a creative world. And I want to go look for some blockium. Hopefully it'll, it'll spawn. You guys can see that the mod works. Like, like I said, yeah, you have to paste in your other code and then you have to fix a bunch of methods because they get renamed or they sometimes they get deleted or new methods get added or whatnot in up oh, here yeah in uh, new patches and what and like you know new updates new patches and stuff like that so now we have our blocking stuff here we can make our blocking stuff and that's pretty much how you update a mod so um i've shown you how to update your mcp and how oh there's a the trees how to update your mcp and how to update um your mod also well sort of so yeah you know that's all I got for today, and I will be doing more of my tutorials, so yeah. Make sure to leave your likes down below. I mean, just leave your likes. It doesn't have to be down below. Uh, leave your comments down below, though. And make sure to, uh, you know, subscribe if, if you're not already. I'm pretty big on modding. I, I like to think so. So if you like modding, you should probably subscribe. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.